Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm the Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. This tutorial features the comparison and overlay tools, along with screen synchronization. We can access our tools by going to the document dropdown, and compare documents and overlay pages are right here. Let's use compare documents first. Review has automatically detected that we have two files open, so the first file for document A will be the old floor plan, and the second one will be the revision of that floor plan. If we wanted to manually compare different files, we can click on this button right here or here. We can also choose where our new comparison file is going to be saved under output folder, and we can change that if we wanted to by clicking on this button right here. Let's say that we only wanted to compare a portion of each file and not the entire page itself. We could use select window and do that. Then, let's say that the building or object moved its location on one of the revisions. Then we could use pick points and select three points on each document that are similar to one another and basically manually correct the alignment and allow both objects to be compared right on top of each other. Then under other options, we can allow review to split our screen and synchronize both sides. It's quite useful and you'll see that be put into action very soon. And we can change our comparison type. I've made two custom comparison types, and let's show you some of those settings right now by clicking on Advanced. Here we can change our grid size, pixel density, and color sensitivity for each of our comparison types. We can change our margin and offset parameters, and our DPI is set to the maximum by default. We're going to leave it at that. And we could include markups and include flattened markups. In this case, this comparison type is no markups, so we're going to keep them unchecked. And if I switch to the other comparison type, you can see that they're both checked for that comparison type. Then under markup, we can choose between our color, which is the border color of our revision clouds, and the fill color, which is the inner fill of the cloud itself. We can also allow ourselves to see through the cloud a little bit, so the opacity is set to 40. And when we make our clouds, they're each going to be a markup, and they'll have a subject called a difference. We can choose whether or not we want them to look like clouds or not. And we can apply all of our changes to either a new copy of document B, a new copy of document A, both documents, or either or separately. Then, when we make our new comparison file, we're going to have a suffix at the end of it so that it has a different name. So it'll be called the O2 floor plan underscore revision one underscore DIFF. So once our settings are correct, we can click on OK. And let's use the comparison type with no markups first. Now the comparison tool is initiating, and within seconds, we have a nice, simple comparison, and review has split our screens quite nicely. Now, how does synchronization work? First of all, we need to make sure that synchronization is turned on. Of course, I could start navigating and panning around, but let's see what kind of synchronization we have turned on. Firstly, we should turn on our status bar so that we have a quick shortcut to synchronization. And we can do that by going to the Tools dropdown, Toolbars, and Status Bars right here. By default, Review does not turn on the status bar, so I recommend that you definitely turn this on. And now at the bottom of our screen, you can see that I have this bar right here, and this is our status bar. This is where I can choose whether or not I want all of my markups to snap to content, to markups themselves, reuse markup tools, and right here is synchronized views. And so synchronization is turned on. I can tell because it has a blue highlight behind the actual function. And if I click on the dropdown, I'm synchronizing by page and not by document. This is excellent. What this means is that if I switch between different pages, review will not switch the other views page, hence synchronize page. But if I synchronize document, then review will force me to look at the, a copy of the exact same thing on all of my views. So it's very important that we leave that at synchronize page. Now that we've done that, let's look and see some of the differences in our document. We can see where changes were made with compare. And we can see right here that something changed, and it's quite easy to see that a door was added in the revision. However, there are some instances where it's going to be a little bit difficult to determine what exactly happened. So if we look at this comparison right here, we can see that something changed here. It's a little bit hard to tell what exactly. You could stare at it for a while and figure it out, but there's no need for that. This is where the overlay tool comes into play. And this is why you don't want to use these tools separately. You want to use them in conjunction with one another. Now, there are a few markups that I made, and you can see that they're right here, this one, and this one is a flattened markup. 
and review did not detect them because I made sure to turn, the, turn those settings off. Now let's make another comparison. We can go to our document drop down, compare documents, and let's make sure that we're comparing the right pages because now we have a new file open. Review had, thinks that we want to compare the difference with something else, but we don't. We just want to compare the old floor plan with the revision of that floor plan. And this time, we're going to include markups in our comparison. Let's click OK, and let's see what this one looks like. As you can see, Review has detected our markups, and it has found them here and here. So that worked out quite well. Now, let's use the overlay function. We can find it under the document dropdown, and here is overlay pages. Now, let's make sure that we're overlaying the correct pages. We don't want to overlay the comparison difference, so we're going to select it, and we're going to select modify. Then, we can choose from this dropdown between all other pages that are open in review, and here we can select our old floor plan. If we wanted to, we could also click on this button to overlay another page that's not currently open in review. Then we can choose which pages we want to overlay if there are more than one page in the PDF set. And we can choose what color our specific page will be in the overlay. Right now, we'll leave it at the default and we'll click on OK. Now both of our pages are ready. Before we initiate the overlay, let's look at the align points function. If our building moved, we could use three similar points and select them, and that way, we can align the buildings on top of each other regardless of what their location is on the page. Then we can edit our defaults. Here we can see the primary colors that will be used when a subsequent overlay is added to the overlay list. So red and green are used first and then blue and cyan and so on and so forth. We can then choose our default page range. We could change it from custom to all pages if we wanted to. I like to leave it at custom to give myself that extra flexibility. And we can choose our blend so we can have our overlay appear differently. Right now, I prefer the dark and default blend, so we're going to leave it at that. All the other settings are fine, and if we needed to reset them, we can click on the reset button right here. Let's click on OK, and let's click OK one more time. And now our overlay is being initiated. Here, we can use the overlay in conjunction with the comparison tool. So I'm going to move it to the right screen, and we're going to use the comparison on the left screen. So Let's now zoom in on an area where there are some changes, and we can see with the comparison tool that there are definitely some changes right here. And with the overlay tool, we can see exactly what happened. This door was added. Now let's go to that area that was a bit vague when we used the comparison tool, and that's Office 249 and Copy 250. And here, with the overlay tool in conjunction, we can see exactly what changed, and we can see that the Office expanded itself just a little bit. So a subtle change like that can be detected and easily spotted with the overlay tool. Let's look at this restroom. We can see now that an extra stall has been added, and we can see that there are several other changes here. What exactly happened? It looks like the scale was removed, and this line was removed as well. And so this is how we can use the comparison and overlay tools together. And I like to use a little acronym to remind myself of how they work. Compare where, overlay what. This has been our tutorial for the comparison overlay tools and screen synchronization. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ari. I'm a Bluebeam certified instructor with digital drafting systems. I hope you have a great rest of your day.